Hello, Chris. How are you doing in college? Good. I'm majoring in teaching. I would like to teach language arts, but you see I do not know how to teach my class words in an effective way. Maybe you can teach them prefixes, like the prefix carn, which means flesh or meat. Like the word carnify which means to form into flesh. It is used as a verb as in the sentence the skeleton was virtually carnified to look more alive. That is very cool. But, wouldn't carnifying something mean to give it more flesh? Yes, that's right. Oh my god. That is the most genius way to teach. Teaching vocabulary like that is great. Thanks a bunch. Boy, aren't you malleable. I tell you something and you're influenced so greatly by it that you're already ready to go off and teach. But you don't even know any other prefixes or words. Oh yeah. Well, what other words are there with the prefix carn? Well, there are many, but there is carnivore and reincarnate. Carnivore means a flesh eater and is used as a noun like in the sentence. The T-Rex was a carnivore, he only ate meat. Reincarnate means to reborn the soul and different flesh and is used as a verb, like in the sentence he will be reincarnated as a new man. Wow, how cool. So if carn means flesh, then would incarnatious mean full of flesh? For example, the chubby man looked jolly and carnacious. I don't think that is a word. Did you just make that up? Yes. But it does sound like a word. Yes. Well, I better get going. I couldn't wait to teach my new class. Bye. Bye-bye.